Okay, so this is the informracing.com drawdown calculator, which you can use to download your results from your Inform Racing systems to find out the maximum drawdown uh, of your system so far, allowing you to then uh, decide on uh, how risk averse you would like to be, how safe you'd like to play, and then work out the percentage of your bank that you wish to stake. Okay, so there's two sheets. This is the uh, sheet where you'll paste your results into and this is the sheet that will help you work out the um, percentage of your bank you want to be betting and the stakes okay this is if you're using the percentage um, staking plan which is recommended so what you need to do is you need to click file up the top and download Microsoft Excel dot XLSX okay And on my computer, this that's it, there it starts coming down at the bottom. If you don't know where yours is being downloaded to, it should certainly be in your downloads folder um, on your computer. Okay, so we'll open this up now. Okay, and just out of view up here, it's uh, you need to, there's a button, there's a button that says enable editing so you just need to click enable editing button okay right so now we've got this on our computer okay we've got both sheets and we can start to use this as uh, to find out our drawdowns our percentages and our stakes so if we go over to the inform racing system builder and i've got a nice system in here uh, to do with the top course and distance ratings from the speed ratings and you can copy this system if you wish to okay up the top we've got uh, level stakes um it doesn't matter if, what, whichever staking plan you choose you will be able to see the level stakes profit and um you can take it from there so let's go to uh, we'll, we'll try percentage staking we'll, we'll have a 500 pound uh, bank balance and we'll bet one percent of the bank on each bet okay we need to click results up here and I think we can get ready to go. So click apply rules and this will run to get your results back from 2018. Okay, so there's the set of results. This is the summary with all the stats. And this is the level stakes profit here. So it's 409 points uh, plus over the four or five years to level stakes and again you can see this amount here which is one pound or effectively one one point okay using the staking plan that we've chosen uh, with a 500 percent uh, pound balance over this four years instead of 400 pounds to a pound you would have ended up with 16 thousand and a half or just over 16 half thousand pounds okay uh, stakes have risen to 160 pounds, which is fair enough, but you can obviously stop at any point, take your money out, start again or whatever. But just to show you that this is a quite a nice system with a profit for each of the last four years. And so far we're in uh, June and there's 57 points this year. Right, so that's the system. This is the results. We need to now click export to CSV and this will download all the results in this panel here onto our computer. Okay, here we are again, results export brackets. This is the fifth results export I've done recently. Again, if you can't find where these download, it will be on your down in your downloads folder. So click to open that now. And we've got the results. Now, as we have them, this is the latest results at the top. What we need to do is reverse this so we've got the first results at the top. So just Highlight all of the columns, click sort filter, custom sort, race time, oldest to newest is already there, click OK. And now we've got the first bet from the 3rd of January 2018. Okay. So we've got the results from our system and we've got the copy of the Inform Racing Drawdown calculator on our computer as well. Okay, so you need to start right at the top, use the column headers holding your mouse across to column L and then you need to go all the way down to the bottom and on this, this uh, particular system we've got 
over 1400 results okay so once they're all highlighted on your keyboard hold the control button down and click and uh, tap the key, the key C so it's control and C for copy this is now copied back to our calculator and if you've moved this around you want to make sure you're back up at column right at the top click column A2 and then control and V okay and this is now pasted all of the results into the drawdown calculator that we've downloaded okay um, so now all of these figures have now changed depending on what the results and the uh, profits and losses were on our um, system results but basically once we've done all this without going into detail of uh, all the formulas and all the calculations it's the maximum drawdown column that we're interested in okay and we need to scroll down to the bottom of our results to, and go across to the uh, maximum drawdown uh, column to find out where what the maximum drawdown figure is for this particular betting system so if we just scroll all the way down get to the bottom here on the calculator on the down the um drawdown calculator i've copied this down for 2000 uh, rows so as long as your system's got less than 2000 results you can work this out you can copy and paste your results in so we've got the last row here and column r and we can see that the maximum drawdown for this system has been 35.79 points okay I'm just going to take a couple of seconds here just to try and explain exactly what this drawdown is because it might be a bit com complicated to some people. Uh, it certainly was to me when I started looking into it. But um, our maximum drawdown figure is 35.79, okay? So when we go back to where that started, this is at this point here, okay? Now, at this point, the maximum height is 36716. So the maximum height column records the highest point that the bank, the, the cumulative profit and loss got to. So this is this column. So when this column changes, this this was the previous maximum height, 352.78. After this winner, it took the bank up to 353. Now that's because that's above this one. This is now the maximum height. OK, and that changes when. Down here, when there's uh, another winner here to well, 353.37, uh, 356.61 and that continues until the bank increases again and there's a new high okay so at this point here previously after this winner at 4.94 this is when the cumulative profit reached 367.16 which was now the new maximum height that the bank had been to okay now these are all highlighted in blue just to try and make it a bit clearer but all of this time through all of these bets that are in blue the bank never reached above 367.16 okay all of these bets so there were losers there were winners the the bank uh, dropped a bit raised a bit dropped a bit more um, but the bank, as you can see here, it got to 360, um, it got to 361, but it never reached 367.16, okay? But the lowest point the bank reached while it was at 367.16 was right down here at 331.38. That is the lowest point, okay? Whilst the, top, whilst the highest bank was 367.16, the lowest point the bank was reached was 331.38. Now the difference between these two is, 30, is our 35.79. So the maximum high continues to be 367.16, but after 331.38 and this winner at 9.50, the bank went up to 3.40. And now, whilst the, the maximum height of the bank was 367.16, the bank never went below 331.38. So the, the maximum difference between the highest point of the bank 
and the lowest point of the bank is the drawdown, the maximum drawdown. And at this point, it was 35.79, okay? So if you now follow this, whilst the total bank was the, the maximum height was still 367.16, the bank never went below 331.38 to change this figure. So it went 340, 350, 350, 350, 360, never down to 331, never down below 331. And at this point here, we had 367.16. This 7.2 winner took the bank to 367.38, and that now became the new maximum height the bank had got to. There was immediately another winner at 573, which took the bank to 373.11. And that's now the maximum height. Another small winner increased the maximum height again. Um, and that stayed just for one bet because there was one loser. But uh, the, the, the maximum in all of these bets from any time, okay, any time that the bank changed from the previous highest to the new highest, at the start of each height, the worst drop in points, which is now the maximum drawdown, was this point where the maximum drawdown was 35.79. The, the, the maximum total has changed, and but the each time it's changed, it's never dropped further than 35.79 points. With the bank here at 409.64, 4, um, uh, sorry, the, the maximum height of 411.46. If that then dropped in this column to 35.8 points, which I don't know what that is off the top of my head, that would then become the newest low. Um, so hopefully that sort of explains it. It takes each time the bank reaches a new high down to the lowest point it reached from that point. And as you can see, the maximum is here highlighted in blue where it went from 367.16 down to 331.38. And that difference there is 35.79. And that is our maximum drawdown point. And last but not least, we have the drawdown staking plan calculations, where you can work out the percentage of your betting bank you want to be using. And this will then work out the stakes for you. So the two boxes in blue are the only two boxes you need to input any data into any numbers. Uh, the first one is going to be the bank. We've got that at 500, but you could have that at anything you want. And this will then change all the stakes and all the uh, figures here. Uh, but we'll keep it at 500. And the highest drawdown figure, well, we know that on this system is now 36. We'll round it up to 36, okay? So the worst uh, draw, drawdown figure we've had is 36. If you were to have that consecutively, then you would be having two times the 36. Uh, so you, what, what you want to try and do is uh, increase your drawdown figure to a certain number to um, make sure that your bank is safe, so that you feel that uh, if you did have uh, twice this drawdown or slightly worse uh, in a row or over a long period, then your bank is set up to um, be able to cope with these losses. And then hopefully when the bank continue, uh, the bets continue to start to win again, you could, um, this, the bank will start to increase again. OK, so as soon as you type in your the drawdown figure for your system, then these numbers here will be calculated. So if you wanted to be ultra cautious, you could times your highest drawdown figure by four. If you wanted to leave it as it was, just times one, 1 1.5. Personally, I think maybe 2.5 is quite a good idea. Um, the, the, the more times you multiply your drawdown figure by, the smaller the percentage and the smaller your stakes. And at the other end of the scale, if you left it as it was, you've got bigger percentage and bigger stakes. So it depends how risk averse you are, but there's nothing wrong with timing it by four and really just taking your time and watching the profits grow. Or you can go somewhere in the middle. So I think times 2.5 is uh, 2.5 or 3, but I'm going to stick with 2.5, okay? So that means we would um, allow ourselves a maximum drawdown of 90 before things start to get a little bit hairy. But um, 
being 36 so far in four and a half years, you, you think you'd be quite safe um, sitting at this position, okay? So this now works out with your, once you've been put your bank, this now means that we will be we will be betting 1.11% of our bank on each of our bank on each stake, okay? So whatever the bank is, you're going to be betting 1.11% of, of this bank on each bet. And with the bank at £500, your first bet will be 5.56. If you've chosen to times by 1.5, then your first bet will be 9.26. But we'll concentrate on 2.5, OK? Now, supposing that your bank went up to 630, not from one bet perhaps, but maybe it would do. Um, that means your next bet at this point would be £7, OK? If you had a fantastic run and your bank went up to 2,300, you'd be betting 25.56, okay? So you're always betting 1.11% of whatever your current bank total is. And what you can do here, I mean, um, you can keep this uh, state, keep this sheet open while you're while you're betting, and you can just change your betting um, bank after each bet. So let's say we started at 500 and we won 23 pounds we would then know that our next bet is £5.81, OK? If you lost that £5.81 and it went down to, well, let's say it went down to 5.15, not quite, but 5.15, then your next bet would be slightly smaller at 5.72. So after each bet, just change this, your betting bank total, and it will work out the next stake for you. So there you have your drawdown staking plan calculations. When you know your highest drawdown figure, uh, increase this to in, uh, add more security to your bank. And you can work out your stakes each time just by changing the bank size.